Hi everybody and welcome back to Love English, the channel where we want to make you fall in love with learning English. I'm Sabra and I'm a British University English teacher. Today we are looking at the most important tool for improving your English pronunciation and that is of course the phonemic chart. Guys, if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe, click that lovely shiny red button, and then you won't miss our lessons. And also, you can follow us on our social media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to get to know Layla and myself a bit more and see more daily advice about improving your English. Now, you've probably figured out, guys, that English is not a phonetic language. English is a language where we cannot tell how to say the word from how it looks, from the spelling we have to learn the pronunciation. The spelling and the pronunciation differ hugely. Let's have a look at a couple of examples of this. Let's have a look at this word. From looking at this word, you might think it was said, thou gaha, if you were trying to say it phonetically, thou gaha, which of course would be very wrong as we know the pronunciation is though. Let's have a look at another example. If you looked at this word and tried to say it phonetically, it would probably be yakt or something like that, but we know that the pronunciation is in fact yacht. So this is why you need the phonemic chart or the international phonemic alphabet, because you need to understand which sounds you need to say. Otherwise, how do you know how to say it? Sometimes you'll be guessing and then you might learn it incorrectly. So the phonemic chart is made up of 44 phonemes, 44 sounds in the English language. The phonemic chart is not the same as the letters of the alphabet, although some of them look similar and some of them are similar to the letters which they look like. These are symbols for sounds, so don't mistake them for letters. So today guys we're going to look at all the monothongs, the pronunciation of all the monothongs. So the monothongs are some of the symbols for the vowel sounds in English and they are some of the symbols for the sounds which have just one sound, unlike the diphthongs which we'll do next week which have two sounds. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to say the phoneme, then I'm going to give you examples of the words where the phonemes appear, and then I'm going to give you the phonemes in a phrase so you can practice those. So the first one is E. You have to really open your mouth quite wide to make this sound. E. Almost as if you're smiling. E as in country, tree, worried, easy, sea, a country across the sea, a country across the sea. Second one is I. I. This one comes from the base of your throat. If you put your hand here as you make the sound, you should feel the base of your throat moving. If it moves, you know you're making this sound correctly. It's I. I, I as in fish, as in English, as in busy, as in kiss. Six busy fishes. Six busy fishes. Number three is eh. Uh. Again coming from here, eh. Uh. Eh uh, as in egg, as in said, as in suggest. I suggest the poached eggs. I suggest the poached eggs. The fourth sound is ah. Uh. Ah uh, as in apple, as in cat, as in can, as in matter. What's the matter with the cat? What's the matter with the cat? The next sound is ah. Uh. This sound is a little bit like when you go to the dentist and they say, open your mouth wide and say ah. Uh. At least in the UK, that's what they say. So it's ah uh, as in can't, banana, father, glass. An important point to mention here, guys, is that in the north of England, words like glass, grass, brass, they will be said with a, ah, not ah. This is a regional difference, so they will say glass, grass, bath. If you want to see more about the different accents and the effects they have on the phonemes, then do check out my video on all the different accents and their linguistic features. I can't eat bananas. I can't eat bananas. Number six is uh, uh, uh as in up, fun, done, come, 
It's fun to run. It's fun to run. The next sound is o. Oh. O oh, as in clock, as in forgot, as in yacht, as in shot. There's only one clock on the yacht. There's only one clock on the yacht. Number eight is o. Oh. Longer sound, o. Oh. O oh, as in horse, thought, caught, resort. I thought about that resort. I thought about that resort. Okay, the next sound is u. Uh, uh. This sound is in words such as pull, book, cook, could. I wish I could cook. I wish I could cook. Okay, the next sound is oo. Oo as in oo, that's nice. This sound is in words such as boot, cute, fruit, suit. What a cute boot. What a cute boot. The next sound is uh. Uh. Uh as in uh. I don't like that. Uh, that doesn't taste nice. Uh as in bird, word, heard, first. Have you heard about the bird that spread the word? Have you heard about the bird that spread the word? The final sound is the schwa, which is uh, uh. And this is the sound that our mouths make when we are relaxed. Water, computer, teacher, letter, support, banana. It's more of a short uh, as in uh in up. Support, su, uh, very quick, up, longer. But they are quite similar in their sounds. My teacher wrote me a letter. My teacher wrote me a letter. Okay guys, they were all the monothongs. Now we're going to quickly go through the sounds again to see if you remember them. So be ready to try and repeat them back with me. E, I, E, A, 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 O, O, U, U, A, A. Did you remember all of those? We could try them a bit more quickly. E, I, E, A, A, R, A, O, O, U, U, A, A. Practice these at home. Maybe listen to this video as you're getting ready to go to work, at school, or things like that to get used to these sounds. Any questions about these sounds or the phonemic chart, then please do comment below. And also guys, you can think of other words that have these sounds and tell me below in the comments. Don't forget guys that next week we are looking at the diphthongs, so make sure you tune in for that next week. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Bye bye.